Hey, hey, everybody, welcome on into Clay Share Live. I'm Jessica Putnam Phillips, and we have a really great broadcast planned for you tonight. So usually every Wednesday night, we come to you live from the Clay Share studio. The last few weeks, it's been on a Tuesday. So tonight being Tuesday, we're doing Clay Share Live. Next week, we'll be back to Wednesdays, so you can mark your calendar. The change is over. We're back on a regularly scheduled night. Um, tonight, we have a special guest. We have Jeff Rotman from GR Pottery Forms joining us, and he is going to show you how to use the new WA2 using the RD2 forms, and that's this set right here. We're also going to be giving away a set of these to some lucky winner. And we have another giveaway in prime time for my premium members. They're going to get a mini roller, so that's a little thing. We'll get to it later. Um, so I want to share two plates that I made recently using the RD2 forms and the WA2. You might have seen this tutorial if you're one of my premium members. We made these holly leaf plates together and they're out of the kiln and I'm super psyched to share them with you all. Um, I'm also going to be doing another demo after at 6.15 and we're going to make this wildflower plate. I don't think you can see but it has this beautiful embossed wildflower pattern. We're going to do other stuff too. We got that, but we've got lace and templates, all kinds of fun things. But right now, Jeff is going to share with us how to make plates on the WA2. So let's throw it on over to Jeff, see how he's doing tonight. Hey, Jeff. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, it's quite a pleasure. I don't know if uh, we even talked about this, Jeff, but I think this is actually my first uh, live at five. Um, Oh, appearance it, this year, this year, because Ever. you were with us for forever. <gasps> what, I think what? I did like the Clay Share Day and like uh, yes, and Clay Share uh, Con and all that. Clay Share Con, all those live. demos, but never alive for five. That, no, this is the first. What we need I to think. make this happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. Yeah, no, it's all good. All good fun. Yeah, yeah. Totally. We're so excited to have you here. Yay! All right. Well, thank you for being here with us, Jeff. For sure, glad to be here, and uh, I'm gonna just uh, kind of show you some uh, tips and tricks on our new style of dinnerware here that we have another new option that we have available, and I think it's great because it kind of retrofits the old system, the new system. So uh, if you already have the old, the I keep calling it the old, um, the original system. It's not really old. You can still use it. It's still new. It's like uh, some of you may have just purchased it, right? Um, a couple of months ago or so. So, yeah, the 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 original system and the the new Watu, the new Watu system, they really will work well together. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about the kind of the plates, the new offering that can kind of uh, um, offer to you as a maker designer, and how you can decorate that surface. So, I'm going to just kind of show you the kind of nuts and bolts of this new system and kind of try to explain um, some of the tips and tricks already. So if you have some questions, this is your time to let, uh, let, let Jess know and she can ask me and uh, uh, we can uh, we can go. So it is, I really, I really love this system. Um, yeah, sounds good. The new system and, uh, and um, I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be great. It's, uh, I was a little concerned at the beginning how it didn't really have this like big pow um, grand entrance, but I think it's going to have, uh, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's posts of the wonderful plates they make because uh, I've seen a few already and they're looking really good. So, all right. So the idea of the new RD2s, Ah, no, it's hard to say, right? R RTD2, whatever, right? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's my little, I need a beep, 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 my little robot <laughs> going through here. But uh, beep, beep, beep. I, I like to make those noises. So, uh, you know, it's, that's, I think it's good. But we had, you know, the it's always fun to come up with the names. And for some reason, kind of in the last hour, RD2 uh, stuck. And what that stands for is round with a two inch edge and two holes. And so that makes a difference. This is, um, and also it's version two. So um, all the parts that are necessary for version two, um, we have those, uh, that's why RD2. So really focusing on RD2 may solve the title. 
tonight. I was calling it, uh, and maybe maybe in the in the new year, we're gonna have uh, Wa Tuesday, and uh, <laughs> and we are going to be doing fun things with with the RD2 and um, also the Watu. All right, so these are the new forms. Uh, these are, this is the nine inch one, has the two inch edge as I said, so it's a nice smooth uh, transition here. So this, by having the nice smooth transition, it doesn't have a line on the inside of your plate and then allows your kind of your surface I idea or your design or your, um, what you're trying to convey your message, uh, the, this, the, the design you're putting on here will kind of go throughout the whole plate. There won't be a stop in the middle and start again. It's not like a framed uh, image. So I think that, that leaves a lot of design possibilities and uh, kind of excited about what those can kind of bring. Um, the other kind of nice thing about this advantage is I know a lot of you like to pre-cut your slabs. I don't actually, but I, I'm with you. I like... Um, I know that a lot of you like to do that. And so um, uh, this particular one is way nicer for that because uh, you can pre-cut the slab and it'll be encompassed on the whole form. You won't have to worry about anything being outside of the form to kind of balance things out or um, it just is all encompassed on the form. So, and there, that is part of the reason why I need to have this new system have two holes in it. The two holes help at the top and the bottom to be locked together so that it uh, will be able to um, stay in place because in the original version and also when I'm going I'm to show you this using this version as well is a lot of times we can use the clay on the outside of the form to hold everything in place so we don't need two holes but yeah so so if you're worried about um, your old forms having two holes, or original forms, the original rounds having um, two holes. You re really, one is really all we really need necessary, is only is all that's necessary. This second one is an added bonus, and it's just to kind of signify, well, it does other than that, but really I want you to think in your mind that all it does is signify that it's version two. So we had to have two holes, okay? Don't uh, worry, don't worry, don't worry. It, uh, so. Other parts of the system are, this is the new WA2, and the new WA2 has this kind of uh, cutout here, which kind of allows us to have a key where it has that flat edge as well. So it has to fit in there exactly in one way. And so we're calling it the WA2 key. And the WA2 key, basically helps to house the forms on there. If you're using the original forms or using templates, uh, you just need to remove one of the pins. So now you can uh, use any, any form that you already have in existence um, to use with the system. And uh, if you wanna use the new RD2s and you wanna have two pins in there, then you put that pin back in there. And basically the reason it has a key is that uh, it would allow everything to kind of be locked on the bottom, right? And then when you put the form on top, it, that will also be locked. So there won't be, you won't be able to push down and the, the form stays still, but the wheel turns underneath you. Now what will happen if you push down hard enough, it'll make your wheel stop. All right, so there's probably a little more information than uh, you need, need than uh, necessary, probably gets you all, all worked all worried but don't worry it's a very simple system and then of course it also can have my favorite the wall board and the wall board is really a great uh, um, addition to uh, kind of prepping and cleaning um, making your, your slabs right and prepping everything so these are the three parts the key the main watu and then the wall board which all these three parts equal the watu system all right, so we're calling it the Watu system this time. Uh, I would think it was a little hard for people uh, to uh, know all the different parts. Like uh, originally we called it the uh, WA plus WA board. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so this is gonna be called the system. You just need a system and once you have a system, whether it's the 
the original WA system or whether it's the WA2 system. All of them now you need to do is select the form that you want to use with those systems. Got it? So we're going to stop selling probably the, actually we already have it's off the website at the moment. If you're really, if you really need to have one of those, let us know. We can get those to you. But from now on, people really only need to have the, the WA2 system, right? So that'll work for everything. And it's the new latest, greatest, right? So uh, yeah. Is there any questions about the parks or anything that I, well, information I may have gave? Love the, the ones who have the forms and have been using them, they love them. Um, folks are asking, oh, do you plan to expand on the RD2 line past the two plates? Will there be other shapes or sizes and stuff coming down the line? Yeah, you know it, right? Like, yes. um, we're just trying to kind of, I always know that like what I think is not what everybody else thinks. <laughs> so we have to, I think, I felt like I had a good good um, kind of launching point uh, for the, the origin, the first two sizes of the RD2s and then we can kind of go from there. And uh, based on kind of timing and need and uh, when people are ready, we can start to add other things as well. So. Um, I know a lot of uh, the Clayshear members have been talking about um, using the new RD2s with the old ones, uh, with the original ones, <laughs> the, the ones with the twos. And so, uh, but yeah, so that's may maybe also um, an option as well. But uh, the one thing I think we have had this confusion and this one to kind of make the record clear is uh, they are not intended to stack with each other. They, Although that would really, make a really cool form if they were, if you stack them and made something with it, you can do it, yeah. just saying. Yes, so you get this little kind of groove in the middle, right? If you wanna make yeah. groovy plates, um, then go for it. That's what, that's all the fun, right? But you can see the, prob the problem that kind of happens is there's a gap in between in between there, and then also the the profile do not are not, not able to line up. They have to be forty five degree angle for them all to line up. So it maybe can be like a cap, like on the top of something. But um, um, I, I first want to make sure people are comfortable with what they are and you know how they're used, and before we start adding a whole bunch of other stuff. So um, I don't know. I don't think it'll be too soon. Maybe summer. Maybe next next fall. That will start to add parts, maybe by Nsika if, if we're if we're super aggressive, I guess. But um, uh, yeah, so yeah. And folks want to know: Can they buy the forms without the Wa Two kit? Can they yes. buy just the R D Two forms? Yes. Um, yeah. Actually, you can just get the forms. So you don't have to buy the kit. Yep. Yep. And I uh, I resisted at the beginning. I feel like you really these are dinnerware specifically dinnerware sizes, so you really do need four. And I'm really trying to push you into making four at a time. Uh, so at the beginning, it wasn't really because of it raises the price, but it really just kind of gives you the what you kind of need for if you're using a bag of clay, if you're using a, um, a four or five hours of time, you can, um, it, four works ideally. And then you can make two salad plates and two dinner plates. Um, so I believe there's, uh, they might be, um, I resisted and people have convinced me to change that. So I think they have, uh, there might be individual sizes. You can buy them one at a time now, but um, really strongly recommend the, it's called the RD2 variety pack. And that has four forms and the key. So if you have the original WA, uh, the key will fit into your original WA as well. So, yeah. And so um, the, I was gonna say that, uh, yeah, so you can definitely buy them separately, and uh, yeah, and you can you can also make them by hand too, right? And Jessica I, makes the best videos, obviously, right? But um, it's the best one I've seen of, of making them them manually uh, with a with a banding wheel over here. So so we have to have the the WA system to to make them on the forms. You can just buy the forms, right? But uh, the key is this a free edition that comes with it, so. Whether you need that or not, you need it, it comes with it. So yeah, it will not come with a key.
it's, it's in that variety pack. And uh, it's, um, we'll get to it too, but there's a discount um, uh, that you can have to, during this broadcast for next week, but uh, it would just be for the variety pack. It wouldn't be for the individual forms or the individual parts as well. So the discount is just for the, the, main, the, the bonus discount, I should say, is just for the variety pack. So yeah. Any other little questions? Awesome. Uh, folks are just asking, do you have possible forms? Possible forms? Yeah, you know, it's funny. Jess and I kind of talked a little bit about that before. That, uh, you know, this this the shape and this feeling of this, right, kind of makes it feel like it's a possible for some reason. Like if you go to a fancy restaurant, um, it kind of feels like the inside of a, of, of a possible, right? And so, uh, but yeah, you could add, I love to, to make that decorative lip outside of the form to be able to make a bigger type pasta style bowl, right? And I mean, everybody has their own kind of version of what the possible means, but uh, I'm, in, I'm envisioning the kind of mainstream definition of what, um, what people are thinking. You know, like if you went to like an olive garden um, and got, received uh, angel, hair, angel hair pasta, you probably would have it in this bowl that would look like that. But no, really um, it's amazing how um, we were talking about that. If you look at like on, on camera, they look really deep. Um, but when you make them, it's almost like sometimes they're almost a little bit too shallow. So it's uh, it's kind of, it's interesting kind of transition between where you cut them and uh, how they finish out. But uh, yeah, so yeah, there's lots of, uh, lots of good, uh, good options. Well, I love them and I can't wait to see what you're going to do with them tonight. Yeah, it's funny. And I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's just this particular version, but my mom, who's an um, amazing cook and uh, really good in the kitchen, she's finally like said, I want to come and, I, you know, like, uh, not finally, she's really eager to, uh, to uh, make stuff. And I, I don't know if it's because of the new shapes or if it's just uh, everybody else, all your all's excitement. So, yeah, so. Well, you know you're onto something if mom wants to make it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So. Totally. Totally. Maybe maybe it's because she's given up on me making it for her, <laughs> which is kind of uh, it's tragic, you know. <laughs> but we don't have. <laughs> it's like in our own cupboard, right? It's like uh, I have all these nice demo plates, but uh, no uh, no finished ones for uh, no sets, no sets yet. That's uh, the combination of time to start and finish. It's really difficult <laughs> these days. So, all right. So maybe I'm going to start making a form. Does that sound good? Yes. People want to see how to use it. They're asking. Lots all right. Let's asking. do it. So I have this nice speckly, uh, speckled buff clay. This happens to be from Laguna. It's one of my favorites. It's probably the clay that I use the most often. And... The reason I have used it is that uh, it has a, it's kind of real earthy finish and it also has a nice speckly uh, finish as well. The specks kind of come through the, the glazes. So it kind of gives you that kind of traditional pottery feel and look. So I really like it. I'm, a, I'm kind of a production potter, uh, studio potter by trade versus a, uh, you know, an artist that's putting a lot of amazing imagery on there. I am a, I am a dipper. I love to dip my plates right into the glaze. And uh, so I may use some leaves or some other textures, but my, um, my go-to is just to, to dip it right into the glaze and create this nice, beautiful surface, right? So I used a rib, yellow rib to, um, to uh, compress the particles. I think it's really part, important with slabs to uh, um, compress those particles. And I did that, the slab, I pre-rolled it out, but I, I put it onto the, onto the, onto the uh, wall board. All right. So I can set that aside for a, a second. And now I'll pull my other part, the wall two. And as you see on the bottom here, it has these, has these grooves. 
And uh, it's really nice to be able to, because it's blind, um, to be able to put those, uh, put that onto the, the wheel head pretty easily, right? So that worked out really nicely. I'm gonna start out with a nine inch form here. And what I can then do is take two pins and put them in there. And I think there's lots of different tips Tips you can do to, uh, there we go. Well, it's going on there hard, but. But now what you can do is then um, put that onto the board. And here's where I'm referring to, like to get that to line up, to get the key to go fit becomes a little bit difficult. But I think if you do wanna make lines on your boards or if you're having difficulty with it, there are lots of different strategies to do that, but um, yeah. So now it's attached and it can't, it's locked, right? And if I hold the wheel head and try to turn the bottom, it's locked as well. So now I can just drape my clay right over top. And as far as thickness goes, you can see how this is about a quarter of an inch is what I normally like to go for kind of the general, a general uh, measurement, but I, uh, you can go a lot thinner with these because there's no, it's not a big of a stress area. It doesn't have that ridge that can kind of cause some stress on the clay. So now I'm gonna use the wheel of the turns. And tonight I'm just gonna use a wheel. Again, Just just has some really nice videos you can, if you haven't seen those already, you can look them up um, on uh, how to do it manually using a foot cutter and a foot maker to uh, be able to uh, put a foot on there pretty easily by hand. All right, so one thing, um, I think this, for me, this is for all forms, is that I don't wanna add any moisture to the clay. I'm using fresh out of the bag, wet, nice clay, right? The other thing is too is, um, you know, if you uh, don't use, you know, if clay sat around for a year or two or more, it can start to get kind of get hard, right? So uh, I try to, you know, buy as much clay as I need for the next couple of months and then uh, try to use it up if I can, because it can, Sitting around, it can get pretty hard um, just sitting there. Like the water just settles to the bottom, right? But uh, anyway, nice fresh clay. No moisture needed to be added. I'm using this um, Artista wheel from Speedway, or Speedway, Speedball. And I really love this wheel. It's a um, bronze color. So I call it the the bronze version. It's not the Cadillac. <laughs> it's not the gold version, like Brent. It's a. Uh, um, it's the bronze version. But uh, a bronze metal is pretty nice. I the would artista say. wheel is very nice. Um, I love mine. I've been using it more than I use my Bailey, just because I can keep it where I hand build. Isn't it nice? I think that you know it's okay. really everything is well contained. It's really easy to clean. It's really stable. Mm -hmm. You can move it around. Yeah, I can lift it up and move it all over the place, which is nice. I can yeah, take it with so me and go on a road trip if I wanted to my hotel. <laughs> you can have your kids or your kids come over and uh, put it on the drive, middle of the driveway. And the no mess. And I rent them out. And uh, <laughs> you, you can, can go on a, on, a, on, a, on the middle of a driveway, spray them into your neighbor's yard. But uh, <laughs> all right. So back on track. We digress. No, no. Tangent. One thing um, is I, I want to try to make a consistent measurement 
on where to put the foot, right? And uh, if I'm, especially if I'm making a bunch of sets. And so thankfully, we already have this little tool in existence called the suit tool. And the suit tool can make a measurement for us. One thing you can do is if you, if you don't want to have a suit tool, and, if, and I know what you want to do is if you want to Kevin's going to try to bring us back on air. I'm just going to be stamping patterns that I highlighted with iron oxide and then red underglaze for the berries. So you can see that. I did do a double foot ring on the big plate, Jeff. Um, the little one I Ooh. didn't. But on the big one, I did because when you get plates this big, I want that. No, especially when you're hand building, you know, when you're using slabs, you can often get slumping. When uh -huh. we're wheel throwing, it doesn't really happen. I except when you get really big, then you do want to trim double foot on there. But a lot of times the slabs will slump sooner. Do you, you find that as well, Jeff, that the slabs slump sooner? Yeah, definitely. In a wheel thrown? Yeah. And I don't know if that's something to do with the clay memory and the, the structure of the clay, you know, when you think about clay and how it's little plates layered on each other and when you are throwing you're really compressing those together and they're bonding super tightly and when you're using a slab you do smooth it out and compress it but it's it's really not as compressed as well as a wheel thrown one so maybe the tightness of the it holds it taunter yeah Is that a word <laughs> i don't know i'm 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 supposing here but anyhow this is the size of finished with b mix so a clay that shrinks about 12 percent Compared to a form, let me show you. Well, back to the slumping. One. I don't know if you can hear me or tell them, translate the information. Or I always have a rule that it's, if it's a form, the, as far as forms go, the anything over eight inches.